Hey guys, this is Michael. Uh, today I wanted to do a very quick tutorial using Fusion and something that every compositor needs to know, and that is how to do green screens. So I'm going to put myself in an alien environment, and let's see how it's happened. So we're in Fusion. I've already done this once. Uh, I'm going to take my two clips that I have, which is my green screen, which is very poorly shot. i got to fix that. That's my fault. And my alien landscape that I'm going to put myself into. I stack them on top of each other. So far, this is the easiest way i found to actually get something into Fusion. And I right-click and say New Fusion Clip, and it opens up, and nothing happens, because we have to flip over to Fusion. So I go into Fusion, and I get my two media nodes, a merge for both of them. I'm going to show those tiles so that I can see what they are. In this case, I have my background clip, and I have my alien landscape. I'm going to put them together. The alien landscape's on top, which is not what I want. I actually want the alien landscape to be on bottom, so I'm going to break those connections. I'm going to set my alien landscape as my background for my merge. And now what we're mostly going to be spending time with is the green screen clip, which is very poorly lit. i got to fix that. But the effect we're going to be adding is called the Ultra Key. So I'm going to pull up my tools. I'm going to add an Ultra Key here. And because I had my media selected, it already added the Ultra Key here right away. And nothing's happening because I haven't actually keyed anything. So I'm going to select my Ultra Key here. Over in my inspector, there is a little eyedropper. And I'm going to take that over onto my clip. Now, this is something I've found very odd. This is flashing because I'm actually showing my Ultra Key here in my viewer too. And so, it actually took it that time. It doesn't use always do that. What I found is a much easier and more effective way to do this is to make sure you have your source clip in your viewer. Select your Ultra Key here. And then when you grab your eyedropper to select the color and bring it over, you don't get that flickering because it's not trying to key at the same time it's trying to pick a color. So I'm going to select key, and the really cool thing about Ultra Keyer is it's pretty fast. Uh, very effective. I didn't find any problems with it. It's one of the better keyers that I've seen before. Uh, even down at the edges where I have my little fur, now I'm getting a little bit of green spill on my glasses. But even where I have my uh, free face, Overall, it's pretty good. I can go through my options here, do a little bit of spill suppression if I want. Uh, my third option shows me my matte controls. I'm gonna just play with these a little bit, see if I can get it a little bit more to my liking. Bring down my matte gamma just a little bit. Bring the gamma back up and bring the Expansion back down a little bit. And now that's reasonable. I can I can deal with that. I'm gonna make this fit. Now I'm gonna take my key result and I'm gonna pipe it into my merge. That becomes my foreground. And I don't see it because I don't have my merge showing, so I'm gonna show my merge. And as if anybody that has done green screen before knows, you need to make your foreground match your background. So I'm going to be adding in uh, just a simple brightness contrast, because this was recorded a little on the dark side. And I can go in, I can increase my gain a little bit, bring my lift up a touch, bring my gamma up, which is where my midtones live, add some contrast. And it is affecting the background a little bit, just because... I'm changing the entire foreground, including the green. And this is very basic, this is not a super detailed uh, tutorial, this is just the very fundamentals. Uh, but the background is mostly blue, and I'm very, very orange. So I want to also add a small color corrector. When I add that in, I get a very basic color wheel. And there's a lot of options here, we're not going to go through all those today. What we are going to go through is, I'm just going to grab it and add some blue. Not quite purple. Just to make me blend into the background a little bit better. 
And again, that's piping into a merge, which has my background in it. And that's piping into my media out. We go back into fusion, and hey, we have myself in an alien landscape. So, again, that was a very, very quick overview tutorial. There's lots more details you can put in in terms of making it a uh, really effective key. Mostly in terms of pre-planning and lighting and having a really good green screen, which I need to adjust ours. But, very simple, that's the fundamentals of it, and green, screen, green screening is one of those things that uh, most compositors learn pretty early. So, again, we'll probably do a more detailed tutorial later on, but thank you, and we will see you on YouTube.